if people do not give you a chance if people do not watch you play if you are a soccer player watch you perform if you are a musician do your class if you are an instructor you will never there will never be a you in terms of being that instructor being that soccer player and all those things hello welcome back finally we're doing this um let me do this i'm going to i've prepared something right guys so today i want to give tips if somebody wants to if somebody is going for a feeling a class they don't know people they don't know what do you do how do you make sure that you come out of that situation happy or a winner or whatever you you want to to say but you want it to be a success right i've got about five tips that i want to give these are based on experience these are based on advices i got and these are not just advices i got i've also tried them so let's go the first one this one comes from that demogwal do not have any expectations so you should not have expectations what do i mean by this if maybe you've attended that class before or maybe you um, you've seen that class you've seen how they train do not expect them to be the same when you are there right go there and just deliver a class don't have any expectations or any of those kind of things i don't know if you get me right the second one is instructors are not cheer cheerleaders guys we are not cheerleaders we are trainers we are there to train people to achieve fitness goals we are not there to get people to go crazy and do all these things so do not go there and 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 think that you are a cheerleader and if people are not screaming and yelling and everything then you did not do your job you are not a cheerleader this is this is from me to you now as an instructor right so you have to be prepared to do the hard yards so when you learn the don't expect that you go yeah let's go and people will be just rocking you must be prepared to work hard to get them to work and you must be prepared that even if they don't do the work you will still do the hard yards you will still work until the end of the class i think you get this then the third one is this is very important prepare your work meaning you must know what you want them to do when you get there prepare the work prepare the content if you are doing great prepare the exercises uh, you know you can demonstrate them it shouldn't be the first time you're doing them when you are there practice those exercises show them all the levels food if it's kick you must know what is it that you are going to teach from minute one to minute 60. know exactly what you are going to teach and for how long are they going to do it i know people say yeah sometimes things yes they will not go according to your plan but what is your plan sometimes more all the time things will never go according to your plan how you planned it but you must have a plan from the beginning until the end serious plan minute one we are doing this second exercise is this fit exercise is this then i combine this with this we get here from here we go there from there we go here you have to prepare like that this is one of the things that i think i should do prepare a class here and go and teach it and then so that we can see it and then what to focus on eye contact and attitudes <laughs> that's what i wrote there so when you are in a class you will get the people are friendly you will get the people who who are not going to be too friendly so what you do is focus on the people that are friendly 
the people that give you a smile, the people that have got the approachable face, the ones who don't give you, you go to them, you look at them, they don't give you anything, ignore them, avoid them. Focus on the ones that are giving you what you are here for. Focus on, on the people that you need for the hour because the moment you keep on trying to impress or trying to uh, get to the ones who are not giving you anything, then you are now losing the ones who have already welcomed you. So focus on the people who have welcomed you in a class. Give them love and you will be happy when you leave. Even after class, focus on them. The ones who give you nothing, well, give them nothing back. They don't deserve anything from you anyway. And then the last one, thank everybody for their participation. Whether they gave you love or not, because they came to your class and they participated, thank them for that. Because it doesn't matter who you are and where you are from. You could be Billy Blanks, you could be Michael Jackson, you could be R. Kelly, you could be uh, Michael Schumacher, you could be Dr. Kumalo or Manja Zwane, whoever. If people do not give you a chance, if people do not watch you play if you are a soccer player, watch you perform if you are a musician, do your class if you are an instructor, you will never, there will never be a you in terms of being that instructor, being that soccer player and all those things, right? You, we are only who we are because of the support people give us. And when people don't give us the support, then they will never be us, you know? Uh, so those people who make a decision to come and work out with you, thank them. Yes, that's where it ends, guys. These are the five tips when you are doing a field in, when you are seeing people for the first time and you have to give them a workout. These are the tips. Number one, do not have any expectations. Second one, remember, you are not a cheerleader. Be prepared to do the hard yards. Number three, prepare your work. Make sure your work is prepared. Number four, focus on the people that give you love. And lastly, thank everybody for their participation. On that note, speaking of thanking people, thank you for watching this video. And please subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel. Even if you see this on Facebook, there will be a link or search for Mzim Nyazi TV on YouTube. Subscribe. I'll be doing a lot of this post these videos and i'll also be doing some kata cardio box and conditioning videos thank you very much guys have a beautiful beautiful day i love you i'm out of here should i call you hours alone i'll still decide if i go with that one thank you